Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning December 21st, 2020. So this is Christmas week. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. And if you decide that you like this content, thank you so much for subscribing and sharing. And of course, if you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I also have tons of things over at Gumroad. All of that information is down below. So what's going on this week? Well, <laughs> so you're going to hear my, my earrings a little bit, but I love them and it's, they're very appropriate for this video. So I'm going to be wearing them. So, um, what's going on for this week is I'm hearing mayhem. All right. So get ready for that mayhem. And it doesn't necessarily have to mean that it's mayhem for you as an individual, but maybe really this is sort of, uh, things breaking open in the world. Um, things that are happening, people are uh, reacting in ways that aren't very good. And um, yeah, the turmoil is coming up to the surface. Again, this doesn't mean that you as a family are gonna have turmoil. I mean, that's up to you guys <laughs> and how you want to conduct yourselves within your family. But I think this is more about um, big things kind of breaking open and we're getting more and more. The, the world is sort of cracked and seeping now and so we're going to be getting more and more of that information coming through yeah they're saying it's more important now than arguably ever that we be in alignment being grounded be centered we're plain witness don't get invested all right don't get invested don't don't let something pull you off course and next thing you know you really aren't enjoying you know, your week with your family or your job or creative projects or whatever it is that brings you, usually brings you joy. Now you can't because there's so much heaviness and there's so much. So let's be careful with this because I'm not saying to ignore whatever's happening in the world. But what I'm getting at are these things are opening up that you already knew. Okay. You already knew it to some level. And now here it is right in front of you. And it's, it's a story that's playing out and breaking open. So on an individual level, this could feel like, again, that push-pull theme where it's, you know, I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know if I want to be here or be there. Um, you know, I, I did take this action. I do need to take accountability for that, but now I feel guilty about it. Maybe I should be doing this. You know, all of these things going back and forth. Remember, if we can be in our heart, if you can be in a space of love, I know, I know, sometimes it's difficult, but as much as you can get there, that's gonna help us generate through this power, through this, and not get swept away, okay? I, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing wind and crashing, like, I mean, this would be the time of year where we get blizzards. I hope there isn't a blizzard, and I hope there isn't something like that going on. But if you're living in a place that is sort of prone to blizzards, take precautions, don't freak out, just be ready, okay? And I'm, be careful that you clean your vents from the outside of your house. Make sure that that's all cleared away, okay? Um, be careful with fire. Be careful with having, why is this coming up? Wood burning stoves, wood burning fireplaces. Be careful with these. Make sure you have proper ventilation and watch the fires, okay? I'm seeing people sort of just like hunkering down and like kind of hiding in their homes. And I, I part of this feels like it's a natural thing and part of it feels like there's a man-made thing going on. So people might be responding uh, to certain events, certain things going on in the world with a lot of fear and, and trying to hide from the rest of the world here. And it's interesting because there's this this nature here where people are just really trying to make the most of this time of year because of the year we've had. And that doesn't, you know, it pertains to whatever you celebrate and happy whatever you celebrate, right? At this time of year, there's so many things, right? Um, but people are trying so hard to recapture some bit of innocence through this time. And some of us might feel like we can't catch a break. Like we just can't get a break. And um, it's not to say that this is going to be a terrible time. Remember what I've always said in most videos, even if something's going on out there, it doesn't mean that you have to crumple up on the inside. 
This is teaching you to be resilient. It's, it's teaching you to stand up and to find your peace no matter what is going on. Now, for some of you in parts of the world where like there are just horrendous things, really horrendous things happening, I know. It's not going to be very easy for me to just sit here in my cozy home with my little fireplace going back here and say, <laughs> don't worry about it, you're fine. Uh, I know. I, I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't feel panic or scared or, you know, all of that. But remember, you have a divine light within you and you can activate that. As we come into 2021, understanding our truest nature and our full capacity as human beings, this is going to be imperative. And this is about our energetic field and how that functions, I guess, in the fabric of the universe or how what we put out ripples with other people and how we can take more accountability for taking care of that energy so that we're careful about what we're putting out there. Again, if you've gotten irritated, okay, I know it's been <laughs> a tough year. If Again, if you celebrate Christmas and you've been Christmas shopping, for example, I know I've had nothing but problems with stores, you know, not only getting behind on shipping because of certain things that are going on, and that's fine, but then they don't want to work with you to, you know, get them safely delivered. They just, you know, got a bunch of customer service people that are just like, oh, poor me, poor me. And, you know, you just got to like, <laughs> at some point, if you're dealing with those kinds of frustrations, I know there's like, there's so many other examples of frustrations going on right now not being able to get the supplies that you want or the kind of foods maybe that you would normally have for, for your holiday. You know, at some point we have to stop fighting against that and just go, you know what, this person is where they are. There's nothing I'm gonna do about that, I'll figure it out. Or, you know what, we can't have what we normally have, then we're gonna make the best with what we do have. We're gonna practice gratitude here. And it's really time for forgiveness and for letting go. It's really that time Remember, we're cleaning up our emotional bodies. We're cleaning up and getting healthier in that way because we're going to be asked to step up as these sort of energetic generators. I don't know, but we're going to be asked to step up and, and to start taking more responsibility for what we're putting out there. Okay, let's get onto the cards. Normally, I would pull out the Gabriel deck, but I'm not sure where it is. <laughs> so, like, you know, I keep trying to clean and organize so that I can find things easily. And then anybody else do that? You're like, no, I got this down. I'm going to organize this so it's so easy to find. And then you don't know where it is. Yeah. All right. Of course, we could be working with all the angels <laughs> this entire month. I mean, I work with them all the time anyway. So if you feel like you want to tune in with Archangel Gabriel, especially or Archangel Michael, by all means. All right. What do we have here? And someone's going to comment, you didn't even mention Jesus. How dare you? Hi, Jesus. Love you. Good? Okay. <laughs> Every year somebody does that. Like, you didn't even mention Jesus. All right. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, let's see here. We're, there's going to be a little bit of scrambled energy here because these cards are sliding all over the place. Try to keep your calm no matter what. Try to keep your calm no matter what. Yes. All right, that should do it about right there. Let's see what we have. We have, did I shuffle these upside down? <laughs> the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. Again, more to be revealed. There's things that are cracking open. The old way is falling away. And that is what a lot of people are going to be responding to. Whatever needs to go away, let it go away. All right, don't hang on to it. And you'll find that when we do kind of let go and say, okay, I don't know everything. Let me see what's going on here. Let some information come to me. That's where we can start seeing new possibilities. And that's something that we've all been so terrified. They're giving me the image of like imagining that um, you've been locked in a closet and all you ever wanted was out. And now it's your time to be released from that. And you're too afraid to come out. You're too afraid of what's out there now because you've gotten so used to your confined space. It's that kind of feeling where we're going to be afraid to come out and look at things in a different way because we don't know who to trust anymore. We've been, you know, push-pull all over the place. We don't even know what to think, right? So 
just be aware of that. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So again, this is where we get hung up on an argument, where we get hung up on one situation. And really, when we step back from the things that are stressing us out, in the bigger picture, the grand scheme of things, does it matter? Usually not, <laughs> usually not. Um, there might be a bigger message, underlying message there where um, you're like, no, I'm, I'm tired of people not stepping up. I'm tired of feeling like I have to pull the weight for everybody. You know, there might be some things like that, but even looking at the bigger picture in a scenario like that is teaching you something, isn't it? It's teaching you about what you believe in and what you're passionate about. So still, we have to come back for that broader view. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. <laughs> Anybody wanna comment on this one? Full moon eclipse, um, conclusions are within reach. I'm telling you the old way's done. Please don't be in your egos. Please don't be in your egos because you're going to struggle, you're going to suffer. This is asking us to not get wound up in the story that's being fed to us, okay? Now I'm not saying the things that are breaking open and occurring are, you know, necessarily wrong or, you know, like, or that we're being told the wrong story. I don't know. I don't know. Some cases, yes, some cases, no. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's all going to be revealed and conclusions are within reach. How many cards did I pull? Three. Let's get another. <laughs> Comment down below. All right, a new start is coming, new moon. Check this out. Are you seeing this? A new start is coming, but we have to make room for that new start. So if all of us are so terrified to keep moving forward and so terrified to, you know, take a different perspective or take a different approach, then we're all gonna lag behind. So let's not do that, okay? <laughs> Let there be room for a new start. All right. Oops, as I knock things around. Let's get the color card here. Yeah, embrace the love and the spirit of the season. Just embrace it. There's gonna be a lot out there trying to rob you. I keep saying this every week, rob you of your joy but it doesn't need to have that kind of power over you. There it is. Oh, and it's green. Look at that. <laughs> it's emerald. Calm your mind, body, and soul. The number is 30. See, just stay calm no matter what's going down. Okay, stay connected to your heart space. You'll be working with Archangel Raphael to help you with the heart space. Any Archangel that you want to, but um, heal your heart. Stay calm. Okay, no matter what, stay calm. Get back into the peaceful space of the heart. Remember love, remember empathy, remember compassion, practice forgiveness, practice gratitude. Because what is happening, we're all a part of it, and yet not one of us can control it. So it is going to reverberate through us, but we're supposed to transmute it. Archangel Zadkiel, Z-A-D-K-I-E-L, Archangel Zadkiel. So what are we going to choose this week, guys? Choose the peace choose the love, choose the joy. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.